Hi, I'm Chris Roberts. Ever since I saw Star Wars as a wide-eyed eight-year-old, I dreamt of being a hotshot pilot saving the galaxy or a lovable rogue making my way across the cosmos. It inspired me to make Wing Commander and has influenced everything I've done since then. Ten years ago, after 20 years of making games, I was burned out, so I took a break. But I never stopped playing games nor loving them. And now, I'm ready to come back, and I'd like to show you something I've been working on. But I don't want to build any old game. I want to build a universe. I want to build a game I always wanted to build, but I didn't have the tools to do until now. One that you can fly off a carrier fighting a heroic war on the front lines, but also one that you can muster out and find your own fortune in the stars wherever your spaceship takes you. I want to be able to share this experience with my friends and fight against real opponents in space, not just AI. And I want this to be as good or better than any other game out there. And I want to actively push the boundaries of what you can do in a game. None of this would have been even possible two years ago. But with Moore's Law driving PC performance and cost and the gaming community embracing talented developers via crowdfunding, I believe it is possible today. I've never been accused of having a small vision. And so I thought it was best if I share my ambition with you visually. I'm pretty excited by how it's joined out. So why don't you come join me for a sneak peek? What I'm building, you know, the Star Citizen the Squadron 42 combination, you essentially have both things available to you. So Squadron 42 is the sort of single player experience where you are getting missions. You're in the military, so you know, it's not that open world because you're going to be going AWOL if you decide you want to go off to some other planet. So the idea of it is you, you, you serve a campaign, you fly missions, it's branching just like Wing Commander was, and you have exactly that Wing Commander experience with the added bonus of some multiplayer and your friends be able to sort of co-op play with you as wingmen when you fly your missions. But when you finish your tour of duty, you muster out and you're in the wide universe and then it's open world. You can go where you want, do what you want, choose who you want to be. And the other thing that's nice about this is you don't have to do Squadron 42. You can get into the star unit. You can basically decide you're never going to go fight in the military. You can decide that I'm just going to be a merchant or I'm just going to be a pirate. I think what we're talking about here has everything that made Wing Commander great and has everything that made Privateer and Freelancer great. It's, it basically has both things and the single player sort of military campaign side sits inside this whole universe in a holistic fashion. The idea is that it should be dynamic. So I've talked about a sort of the universe being a living entity and something that's always changing and it's going to change based on the player's actions. So things that players do will have an effect on the universe and they'll also be able to become part of the universe. So a good example is say a player that's an explorer and they explore around enough time and they find a space anomaly and then they manage to navigate a jump. That jump point and the system that they've jumped into will get named after that player. So like that player becomes part of the history and lore of the universe. And on top of that, you know, we're going to be dynamically adding content to these universe. I'm not interested in having yearly updates. We'll have a team of people that are adding content on a weekly, uh, you know, every two weeks basis. So you're starting this system and you start in the game and it's got 50 star systems, for instance, and, you know, uh, two weeks in, a jump point's discovered for another system and someone navigates it and bam, we've got a 51st system and so on.